today from Mexico City. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Las Vegas Raiders. Taken in the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr has really improved in doing since college, his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy, and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Carr. Throw right side going to be caught by Waller. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still first down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one. And it'll be a second and long. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. From the gun, it's Carr. Man open, that's Henry Ruggs. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and ten. <laughs> it's 
to throw its car. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Jay Cole comes on to punt. DeAndre Carter back deep. This is taken at the 23. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Bears take over. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina, then drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. And one of the few knocks on him coming out of North Carolina was just actual game experience, just 13 starts in college. But he worked so hard at making up for that lost time. He loves the game, crazy about the film room, and guys just naturally gravitate towards him. I think he's got a chance to be an excellent leader and player. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Cleland Farrell in there to get him. It's a loss of five. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Corey Middleton. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now Trubisky on third and long, rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. They'll get this up to the 34 and a good lane opening up right away for it. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and it'll give them a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 
Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Out of the gun, Trubisky. This will be caught at about the six. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Jalen Richard now on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101. 
on the Tread Expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll set up to throw. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Carr completes it, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Throwing on first down is Carr. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first and ten, here's Carr. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And he can't.
can't field it cleanly. It's loose. The Raiders take over first and 10 at the Bears. 40. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Took nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. First and 10 right at the 20. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Akeem Hicks, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, that'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And more. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Incomplete. Jalen Johnson on the coverage. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a fine first half from quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. And they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. They'll run on first down. Montgomery. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Chain second and 13. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down, Trubisky. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Maurice Hurst in there to drop it for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On second down, Jacobs. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr gives to Richard, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Carr. A short one here secured by the tight end Waller. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here trying to run for it with Jacobs and he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27 it'll be a pickup of just two and the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs third and two right so this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage but it's not just the low man winning it's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. <laughs> Car now on first down. Got an open man. It's Ruggs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes. We're putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Throwing on second and eight. Carr and Waller taking it in over the middle. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because 
they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play, and guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Turn. Here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 29. Yards. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll throw from the gun. He'll find Miller. That's complete. Trubisky's five yards on the catch there brings up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's back to throw, and that is incomplete here. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 32-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. He'll get this underneath. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Here's Trubisky. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Throwing now is Trubisky toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there, but it'll be second and goal. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch it that spot. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Back to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. A safety with a sack there. LaMarcus Joyner. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. He'll look to throw. He can, and he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was all capped off by Mitchell Trubisky's touchdown run. send this one away this taken in about four yards deep and with time a factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25 set to get this drive started. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say adios from Mexico City.